solving inequalities by adding and subtracting. Now you solve inequalities the same way you solve equations. You do the same thing to both sides of the inequalities. Now for when you solve n plus 6 is greater than 3, you're looking for a whole range of solutions. But remember, so there's going to be a bunch of different possibilities. But the value of n has to be so much that when you add it to 6, it is greater than 3. So the way we do this is we just I'm going to write it out over here to make sure I have enough space. Is greater than 3. All I do is the same thing I would do with any problem. I would subtract 6 from both sides. So now I've got n is greater than 3 minus 6, which is going to be negative 3. So I go ahead and I put my little round circle there, and it's greater than negative 3. So I draw the line that way. One really, really important thing to understand is that you need to go ahead and check that. Let's try 0, 0 value for n, 0 plus 6. 6 is greater than 3. Great, that's right. I plug in a value over here, negative 5. Negative 5 plus 6 is going to be 1. 1 is not greater than 3. So we've got the arrow pointing in the right direction. I'm going to slightly change this problem to being a less than or equal to. So p minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 3. So now what I need to do is I need to, again, solve it by doing the same thing. p minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 3. So what do I do? I add 7 to both sides. When I add 7 to both sides, I know what p is less than or equal to negative 3 plus 7. That's going to be 4. So down here, I've got the 4. I've got colored in, remember, because I need to because it's less than or equal to. And now I'm going to draw my little arrow this way and see if it makes sense. 0, 0 minus 7, is that less than or equal to negative 3? Yes, it is. 5, 5 minus 7 is going to be negative 2. Or it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be negative 2. Is negative 2 less than or equal to negative 3? No, it's not. So now i got my arrow pointing in the right direction. So just as an example, if you are a salesperson and you are required to sell at least $100 of games each week, you sold $30 worth of games on Monday, how much more do you need to, uh, do you need to sell, this should be, in the week? So if you look here, $100 is how much you have to go ahead and do. And let's let uh, uh, let's let uh, the G be equal uh, cost of games. You need to sell. Okay, so now... I know that's what I'm looking for. Once I solve for that, then I've got my answer. So 100 is what I actually have to have. If I sell more than 100, hey, they're going to be happy at the game store. So G, I need to sell at least 100. And I already sold 30. So what do I need to do? I now need to subtract 30 from both sides. What I have then is I have 70. I need to sell at least 70 more dollars worth of games. If I do that, everybody's happy, and I'm done for the week.